Good afternoon, traders. Thanks for joining today's partner webinar. So as always, my name is Keith here with Shark Indicators. We've been involved in the Ninja Trader ecosystem since 2011, providing tools like Bloodhound and Blackbird that help traders be more productive and in control of their own trade systems. We're always looking for ways to add to the trader's toolkit and webinars like this are part of that mission. Before I pass it off, as always, let's take a quick look at the risk disclosure. Futures, foreign currency, and options trading contain substantial risk and is not for every investor. So, Ference has 10 years of experience working in banking on a large IT project for a major US company. He was an early adopter of Bloodhound and has been designing and building systems for customers since 2011. Apart from running Remic, his company, he is also visiting lecturer at the Central European University, where he teaches trading strategy design in the Masters in Finance and Masters in Business Analytics programs. All right, with that introduction, Ference, I'm going to unmute you and go ahead and share your screen and we'll see if we can uh, see what you're seeing. Thank you, Keith. It's my pleasure to be here. Okay, so thank you very much and welcome everyone. It's my pleasure to be here, especially since this is the last presentation of the year and I appreciate everybody's time. I know holidays are coming soon and we're getting busier than usual. So I try to keep this presentation right to the point and as brief as possible while also allowing everybody to ask questions and I hopefully I will be able to include uh, all the information that I was planning to share with you today. So again, I appreciate the opportunity and if I may say so, this, uh, this uh, webinar, um, I plan this to be a bit more practical. Um, past webinars I gave were kind of on the theoretical side, which is okay, but I hope this one will be more practical and offer some, some, uh, you know, some instant takeaways that uh, you can put to good use in your own trading, especially if you decide to use one of our products combined with shark indicators, uh, Bloodhound and Blackbird. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Um, let me start by saying that in the past couple of weeks, uh, I've received several letters from people who have seen some videos on our YouTube channel. So I thought this might be a, 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 just as a good time as any to uh, to go into that a little bit and explain the context of why those videos were uploaded and what uh, we wanted to achieve by uploading them. Um, let me see if I can start this video and I'm not gonna play the whole thing because it's like one hour, but what it does basically, and there's 10 or 15 videos like this. And if I just uh, start from the beginning. So what I did, I switched this is Momentum, by the way, Remac Momentum, one of our products. And if you're not familiar with our products yet, let me just say we have two major products, uh, Remac, the Remac system, which is Renko based and Remac Momentum, which is uh, in, in, as far as bar types go, more versatile. And right now we're looking at the Remac Momentum system, but we also have videos uh, with the Remac system, the Renko based system. The point is that what I did in this experiment I, um, I switched the system to auto mode and I let it run for a full month. And I sped up the video, of course, and it's still kind of boring because you know, it's nothing happens but trades for an hour, but it's a sped up version of a full month. Why did I do this? I didn't do this to prove anything to the world, to prove what geniuses we are and we can you know, write uh, fantastic trading systems. I think we can, but that was not the point. The point was, because I wanted to see myself if the system is robust enough to be taken seriously. And uh, by robustness, I mean, can it recover from drawdowns? Every system has drawdowns. The real question is what happens when a system is in a drawdown? Uh, are we done for good or can it recover? Now, this little equity curve, just after a couple of days, you can see I'm just gonna scroll forward. Oh, 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 sorry, that's the next slide. What did I do? Give me a second, hold, here we go. Okay, so the equity curve kind of, you know, just uh, happens as we go forward into the month. And uh, what you'll notice and what I'm happy to share with you actually is 
the robustness with which it recovers from the drawdowns. As you can see, the drawdowns are not tragic. A kind of within you know, the random distribution of drawdowns that you can expect from a reasonably good system. But what I was very happy to see with both Momentum and the Remex system is the ability to come back from drawdowns. And uh, so to sum it all up, the purpose of these videos, which you're welcome to check out on YouTube, is not to show and especially not to suggest that the system should be run 24 seven uh, in automated mode. I mean, we'd never take a trade, or at least I wouldn't, let's say, you know, 3.59 p.m. a few minutes before the close of the US session. So, but this, this video, since it's 24 seven, it contains the good, bad, and the ugly. It contains every trade, like 1 a.m. or 3.50, whatever it is, it just runs. And uh, I did it 10, 15 times and I stopped because it's a little time consuming to prepare all this, but also I came to the point where I've seen enough. And uh, so I'm not gonna do more, but there's enough. And I hopefully it will show you, the only, the only point that I was trying to show you with this is the robust, robustness of the methodology. By the way, the methodology is not something we invented, we don't, you know, claim to be Einstein's here or something. It's just, it's just a very carefully uh, assembled uh, pieces of, of, of proven uh, methodology based in data. We call it um, data, what's the word that we gave it? Evidence-based um, technical trading, basically. So all we do is based in data, and I'm gonna show you the, uh, the edge, and you can check the edge, um, the, the positive edge later on yourselves. So much about these videos. And since people were asking me about these videos, and some of the people who wrote to me in an all good faith, they thought that you just switch the system on and go for an ice cream, I had to explain that that's not how it works. And uh, that explains why I chose this topic for today. So let's move on. And uh, the next thing I'd like to, just to make clear that we, everybody, all of us are on the same page, is what I mean about automation, as far as we retail traders are concerned anyway, when we talk about this concept. And uh, to cut to the chase, I, by automation, as far as we're concerned, I think of something as an autopilot button on an airplane. I myself have never been on an airplane that had no pilot on it, and I'm not planning to either. However, good machine learning and all that stuff can develop in the 21st century. Uh, I'm more comfortable with having a couple of humans driving that plane. But as we know, on every plane, there's an autopilot button. I don't know where it is. I'm not sure if this red button is the one. I just kind of put this arrow here as a joke. I have no idea where, the, where that button is, but I know there is one. And the autopilot button is a button that switches the plane into auto mode, but that doesn't mean the pilot leaves the cockpit or gets off the plane, right? So the pilot decides when it should be switched on and when it should be switched off. And there are situations where the pilot decides that the human is much better equipped to make a decision, much better than the machine. And there are situations where the machine can do everything smoother and uh, more reliable, let's say, than a human. And I'm trying to think of automation as far as we are concerned when we trade with the Remic products in, conju in conjunction with uh, Blackbird and Bloodhound. So I'm using automation in this sense of the word. It never means 24 seven, as you can see it here, it never means unattended, and it's by no means uh, a replacement for trading skills. So on the other hand, so what is automation? I think I've already mentioned some of it. So we use automation when we think the machine can do something better, faster, or more consistently, or all three at the same time, by calculations of trading signals, moving the mouse, or moving the stop, uh, placing an order, trailing a stop, uh, taking profits, all these things. Um, sometimes, as you know, there's a news release and the back and forth, uh, the market is dragged up and down 10 points in 10 seconds. Uh, it would be, being a human, it would be almost impossible to do it manually. Uh, I'm not recommending that you trade the news, but if you, if you ever want to test yourself with the machine trading the news, I'm sure that the limitation not, will not be the speed of our automation. So 
it is possible to do a very quick long trade and then instantly a very quick short trade in five, 10 seconds at the same time on the news release. Again, I'm not recommending you do that, especially not with live money, but as far as the speed of the automated system can be, it's amazing. It's basically the speed of the electrons as we know. All right, that also means that we leave everything else that a human does better, we leave it to the human. Um, higher cognitive functions, decision-making, holistic thinking, uh, evaluation of context, that means also higher time frames or, or other evaluations. If the news or any other information, fundamental information or company reports are part of your trading methodology, then of course that's something the human would evaluate. And um, there's a thing called, which is actually quite significant as for people who've been trading for years and years, you know exactly, I think what I'm talking about is what I call experience-based intuition. It's not the kind of intuition where you just, it's guessing or, you know, no evidence and data or just superstition or something like that, or a sixth sense or some magic. I'm talking about intuition, which is based on years and years of monitoring and seeing the same thing. Okay, so, so much about how I'd like to think of automation, how, uh, as it's defined for the purposes of this demonstration, or this uh, presentation. Okay, so believe it or not, I spent a couple of years trying to uh, um, code something. I've been trying to, I was, I'm not anymore, but I was, I spent considerable time trying to code the transition between the two main market regimes that we treat, that we have to deal with as we go about our jobs here. And one is a trending market, the other one is a range bound market. Now, if you have been using Bloodhound, uh, depending on how proficient you are, I'm sure many of you are, um, it is quite possible to write a pretty good trading system for a trending market. It is also, I think, possible to write a reasonably well-performing system for a range-bound market. But what I would like to challenge you to do is to code the transition. I wasn't able to, uh, and, uh, and that's not because of any limitation in the software. That's just the nature of the market. Usually what happens is that if you're in a trend trading mode, the system will keep going a long time after we as humans have recognized that the trend is in trouble or that we should be doing something else. Remember that even the entry rules and the exit rules would be very different for a trend following system or a system that trades the trend and a range bound system. The entry rules, exit rules, uh, stops, trading stops are all very different. And since the transition is very complicated to code, if it can be coded at all, uh, I kind of gave up because after a while I realized that what I can spend months and months with, I can just look at the chart and decide in 30 seconds. So what's the point? That's the point I'm trying to make. What's the point where we as humans can do something much better than the machine than Uh, I'm going to get to the next slide. I'll, I'll show you something interesting, but speed is definitely one of the things that I want to leave on the machine. And for those of you who have either who have any either of our products, the Remex system or or Remex Momentum, or have seen some of our videos or maybe written or, or read the documentation, you know that we have a what we call a profit grabbing algorithm. And uh, since it's done by the computer, it's done at lightning speed. And uh, that's something that's definitely we always leave for the computer to do. And more about that in just one second. Okay, so the problem for the computer, in my experience of the past 10 years basically, is that it's very difficult, if not impossible, to code something which is as good, or even near as good as I can be as a human in 30 seconds. And uh, so I'm going to leave that to the human, and I'm going to show you what is the part that, that we're going to leave um, to the computer. Now, I just mentioned some of the limitations of algorithmic code. I also want to highlight um, 
the, the advantages of using computers. And one of the advantages of using computers in our trading and a combination of a human and a computer is the fact that a computer can compensate for our cognitive biases. And I'm sure all of you have read about this and are well aware of this, that we as humans are liable um, to cognitive biases. There's nothing we can do about them. Uh, it's part of us as humans. We can't get rid of them. And it's just us. And, uh, and there's many of these cognitive biases. And I'm not gonna go into detail too much. It's, it's beyond the scope of this. Uh, presentation, but it's a very interesting area, by the way. But one is that this little video is meant to highlight is our 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 um, our nature as a pattern recognition machine. We as human beings are pattern recognition machines. It served us well throughout the millennia, millennia if that's the right word, throughout evolution. And um, you know, you look up at the sky and look you look at a, a, a cloud. And, uh, and we tend to recognize something. Of course, it's just a cloud, but we might see an elephant or whatever, or um, a glass of beer. Some of us on a hot summer day, or some pattern that uh, may or may not exist in an objective way in the universe. Now, I, uh, there's a very interesting experiment that I'd like to share with you, and it all takes about 30 seconds. And I hope that there is sound in this video, and I hope it will come through. So I'm going to be quiet for just a second because I want to show you something. And I'll try not to play you the intro because it's, we don't want to listen to that. I'm going to switch it on when my voice comes up. So bear with me for one second. I'm going to make it full screen. So here we go. So, oh, sorry. Again, I seem like I'm not able to click on the right place. Okay, let me just wait one second. So we'll save this music. Okay, when this blue thing comes up, that's where I'm gonna start the sound. Here we go. So listen to this, please. I'd like to check with you if you can uh, hear the sound. Could you please type in something for me in the chat box just to make sure? Let me see. Oh, you can. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to start the video. Run. The whole thing is 30 seconds, so bear with me. Okay, somebody just writing to me that you didn't hear the sound. Sorry, I, I, uh, I was assuming that you were. Okay, so then I'm gonna uh, sum it up very quickly what all this video was about. If I can go back to, if I can leave full screen, give me one second. All right, so, okay, let me show you one second. Sorry about that. I, I thought that you would be able to hear it. So what did I do here? Let me show you what I did here. Uh, I put on a chart and I drew, I'm gonna mute it. And then I drew a uh, support and resistance line, you see, lines uh, on one chart. And then up here in the upper left corner, I typed in a code that would generate me, gen generate a completely new chart for me. But I left the red lines on the chart. So I'm changing the chart 
behind my support, supposedly correct support and resistance lines. Can you hear me now? Are you with me on this? Let me just check with you guys. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, so again, just to repeat, there's a first chart, nothing on it, and then here's a chart. I put on my support resistance. Now, you may not agree with all of them, but I'm sure you kind of agree, like 80, 90%, 70, 70 80%, the reasonable support resistance lines. You see, it's a retest and, and the breakdown and another retest and the double bottom and uh, whatever. So the reasonable lines. And then what I did then is up here, there's a little code. This is a little code that I wrote, a little program that I wrote. It just changes the chart. It will, a random chart will come up, but I'm not removing the red lines. And that's the point. You see the same red lines. And the, and the point of the experiment is that many of these lines will continue to work on the new chart. But of course, this red line has no idea what's behind it. There's, the, 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 these lines mean nothing on the new chart. Still, many of the lines seem to be, well, if not perfect, but sometimes totally perfect and usable. Now I'm going to scroll forward a little bit. It's a third chart, but still the same lines from the first chart. This is chart number three. Look at this. Here's another chart, a uh, little retest. Here's, here's a retest in the... Quite usable for the new chart. There might be another chart. Uh, this is, for example, hilariously accurate. Look at that. This retest of a level that was uh, whatever, I mean, weeks ago or days ago or many, many bars ago. So, right, look at this retest, double top, a retest in, on the right. Anyway, so that was, that's the whole experiment. The whole thing is one minute. Change the chart. You can keep this, uh, play this game for, uh, for a day. Uh, you will see the same thing all the time. That uh, um, like 80% uh, of most of these lines will be perfectly good looking on the new chart. Now, why did I do this? I did this to demonstrate that we are liable uh, to our uh, cognitive biases. And this is, this is just supposed to demonstrate one of the cognitive biases that we have as humans, which is the pattern recognition. We, are, we cannot help but create or notice patterns, whether they exist or they don't. We will create them if they don't exist. The problem is that we don't know, as this experiment, I hope, demonstrates, we don't know which is real and which is something that we just kind of assumed to be true. So bottom line and the takeaway from this, and we can play the same experiment with all the 15 different cognitive biases. This is just the one. This is just, as, just one example for pattern recognition. There's uh, many other cognitive biases that are reliable as we trade. And, uh, and uh, not being aware of this, um, I'm sure everybody knows, would cost us money or, we, or would or will cost us money. So it's very important that we are aware of this and we have a strategy to, to, um, to compensate for it. All right. So I think, I hope I made uh, the point uh, clear enough and, uh, and let's move on. And just one last sentence. So next time you put support resistance lines on your chart, you do and I do and we all do and uh, we should. I'm not saying we should, we should stop doing it, but always, always keep in mind, never call them support resistance. Always say potential support resistance because our brain may be creating lines that have nothing to do with no reality in actual market imbalance. They just happen to be there by random chance. Okay, enough about that. Let's move on. And I showed you this because this is an area where computers will come to our help. This is the area where we can use computers for objective decision-making. 
we can call them emotionless decision making, but objective is the word that I prefer using and free from any cognitive biases, the computers not being humans, of course, uh, or not yet. And uh, so with the correct algorithm based in data, evidence-based algorithms, we can be quite successful in the markets. And, but more about that later. So let's move on. Okay, this is Steve McQueen, of course, of, uh, for those of you who uh, know movie stars from the 60s and on. So, and I, this is how I think of how uh, the computer, the trader, and capital interact. And uh, forgive me if I uh, use this, but uh, probably I mentioned this several times. Uh, the trader with the human skills is indispensable part of any trading system. And the trading system itself, let's think of it as a fantastic car, but the car in itself is just metal and rubber and will go nowhere without the trader. And there's one more thing, the gas tank. And I think of the gas tank as the capital. And by capital, I mean at least three. I don't, I don't know how, maybe you can subdivide it in, in various ways, capital. But to me, I think of capital as emotional capital, uh, positive thinking and, and just emotional well-being, uh, psychological, physical well-being, and financial readiness which means we have to have enough money to do what we want to do. And uh, no escaping, not just no escaping of capital, but no escaping of any of these three. The point being that an automated or semi-automated trading system or a trading system with automated functions is in no way a replacement for, for high level, not high level, but very advanced trading skills. Okay, so. And we've come to the point where I'd like to demonstrate uh, how we use some of these con concepts in our products in conjunction with Bloodhound and Blackbird. But let me stop here for a second and ask you if you have any, tr any questions on what we've covered so far. And while you're thinking, I also wanna say that uh, I'm going to stop in a few minutes, two, three, four minutes. I'm going to stop again after the first couple of uh, charts. We're going to look at some charts and practical applications. And uh, I'm going to stop in about three, four minutes and ask you the same question again. Do you have any, do you have any questions to me? So if you have any questions, you can start typing them in and we're going to get to them in just a few minutes. Okay, so no questions at this time. Can we proceed? We're going to actually look at, yes, I, nothing in question and answers, nothing in the chat. Okay, so let's keep going. So right now we're going to look at technique number one. Uh, it doesn't matter how we count them or how we call them, but, uh, oh, thank you, Keith, wonderful. Yes, please do ask me questions. Uh, and I hope you find this interesting. I, 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 find, I find this area fascinating, how we can, you know, what the boundaries are, uh, especially when technology, how to use technology in trading, how, when was the role of a human and what's the role of the machine in what we do. And uh, this whole presentation aims to find this optimal balance between the two, hopefully. All right. So technique number one, restricting trading to one direction. Remember that chart, if I step back, that yellowish chart with the transition between uh, the market regimes? Let me just go back, this one. So remember this little yellow drawing uh, when we delve into the charts. So what we're gonna do now is decide ourselves as humans, like the pilot, which way we're gonna go restricting trading to one direction, either long or short, and preventing even the possibility of the algorithm with good intentions, but the algorithm calculating something or getting us into a trade in a direction that we don't wanna go because we as humans know better. So let's see how that works. Okay, I'm showing you um, our two products basically. Uh, the white is Remet Momentum with a tick chart, right? And uh, the 
green is the Remax system, which has a Renko bar on it. And uh, let me just try to get my annotation bar here. I'd like to draw something on this. Give me one second here. Okay. Right, so. I will be talking about this up here. I hope you can see these auto buttons. This is where I'm gonna start with. And for those of you who have the system already, or have seen the system or tried out the system, you, you guys, you will know this already, or much of it. And if you're new to this, then let me just go through the main ideas here quickly. So both of our products, the two products are in some ways quite different. In some ways, kind of similar. The methodology is similar. Uh, trading out of consolidations is our bread and butter, basically. That's what both systems are based on. And, uh, but right now, I don't want to talk about the setups. I just want to talk about how we use computers. That's what the focus is today. So check this out. Both our products have a drop-down list. This comes from Bloodhound, of course. And uh, for those of you who are new to Bloodhound and Blackbird, I don't think these uh, excellent software products need any introduction, but uh, our products work in conjunction with them. So you will need, Bloodhound is a strict requirement. Blackbird is a highly recommended uh, component of our systems. And we can talk, uh, talk a bit more about them later. Right now, getting back to this drop-down menu, as a default, you can think of the auto function as a default. Uh, if the, of course, the main switch in Blackbird, the auto enable or disable is switched off, there will be no trade taken. We have a trade ongoing, but don't worry about this. This is market replay, by the way, the market is closed. So uh, in auto mode, uh, the system will give us the signals that is automatically calculated. And to a large extent, uh, they're pretty good. Like there's a short here. Let me just get this. Uh, there's a short here. That's a pretty usable long. And then we have, of course, a range bound. And that kind of a good, demo, a good example of what I talked about like 10 minutes ago, the, the, the difficulty for the machine to decide when it's time to leave the party, when it's time not to participate. And we're going to do that, but no worries. We're going to do that manually, and we know how to do that. There are rules for detailed information on how the systems work. But actually, you can go to our website. I'll show you the link later. There's a detailed 10, 15 page uh, documentation on both systems when it's, this is all written down, and you can spend half an hour over a coffee and read this through. So you're not missing anything if this is a little bit too much, too quick but uh, I'll try to not to bombard you with too much information right here. The point is, the drop-down menu allows us to restrict trading to a certain direction. If I click on long, then as the name suggests, only long trades will be allowed. Don't worry about the many unusable bad signals because I'm not gonna use them because we only trade if this is switched on. So I can be in long mode when I see an opportunity, I can enable the system, but I know that I am only going to take long, uh, long trades because I'm restricting my algorithm to long trades. Also notice that my long entries, this is just the brackets as far as both systems are concerned. The long trades allow us to enter long trades in a very aggressive way. The auto signal will give us fewer signals, you see, fewer uh, racing stripes in Bloodhound. If I switch it to longs, I, I switch it to long when I want to grab the next best opportunity, when I'm aggressively waiting to catch the next uh, entry to the long side. I'm gonna switch to long mode. Of course, vice versa, I can switch to short mode anytime. When I, as a human, and that's the point, decide to make that switch. Also note that once I switch to short mode and I have this enabled, I can release the mouse, I can sit back, and I'm in autopilot in a way because I told my airplane to go short and catch the next short. 
One thing about the REMEX system, I'm explaining everything on this chart, the green chart, but the same thing applies to the white chart, the other product, REMEX Momentum, as well. Um, the next thing I wanted to share with you is that there's one basic rule in both of our systems that we don't chase price. So, you know, let's say price it just keeps coming down with no price inflection point, which means no pullback then uh, we just have to missing that trade. We don't care about missing trades. The markets will be here long after we're gone. So there's no such thing as missing a trade, a, a, a trade anyway. We're not chasing price. We're gonna wait for price to come to us. And when it comes to us, let's say in this, this is just a little hypothetical area where we might be getting our next pullback. We're gonna catch that short trade automatically with the system automated mode because I switched the system to short mode. The point is, if the system should do this, give us a long trade, I will be ignoring it because I'm in short mode. So that's, that's a combination of algorithmic speed, precision, and relentlessness and no bias with with the thinking of a human, which is you know, incorporating intuition, uh, higher cognitive functions, multiple time frame analysis, and, and all that kind of stuff that the machine cannot do as well as we can. So the same thing on the momentum, same thing long, short, and uh, long and short is used for restricting trading to a certain direction. And, oh, this is, a, there's a good example. Here, let me show you this. I wonder if you can see this red short signal. And uh, where our system is pretty good, there's another red signal. You see the arrow. But you as a human, you would probably not take this short anymore. Look at this, uh, our cloud, we call this the cloud. The cloud is turning. The short potential has dissipated. We have several, we have had several shorts before. Let me just use what I usually do, these channels. So, uh, let, okay, let's see, just very roughly, there's another channel here. This is a good, a, a nicely identified short entry here by the system. This is a, is a short entry, but it kind of came late. The algorithm, st it still passed the filter. But I, as a human, I may not be that interested in this short anymore. And what I can do, I can switch the system to long mode ahead of time before any signal arrives and just sit back and wait for basically my system to catch the next mouse automatically. Okay, so so much about restricting using automation, which is built into our products, thanks to Bloodhound, of course. And, and partly if you use the colored buttons, the Blackbird, um, that we use to automate what we want to automate and leave it to us what we want to decide ourselves. So let me go back to our presentation. If I can find it, let me see, here it is. Okay, and uh, let me stop here and ask you if you have any questions so far about this. Oh, Tariq has a question, give me a second. Oh, I see. Okay, there's another question here. Sorry, guys, this is not auto scrolling, so I didn't see your questions in time, but let me have a quick look. Tariq is asking, what is the fundamental difference between the REMEC system and the momentum, REMEC momentum? Good question. Thank you. Let me go into that one uh, just quickly. For a detailed explanation, please visit our website. Let me just uh, put that here everybody knows and there's a section for both products called documentation it's very easy to find it from the main menu okay so main difference the remex system in practice uh, we use it more more on a shorter term uh, shorter time frame mostly 90 percent intraday as you know the the renko bars hide the noise they give us clean trends the algorithm is programmed in such a way which is based on partly price inflections. It, it can take profits very aggressively. And uh, there's lots and lots of videos on this. That was our first product that came out, I think, 2014. 
around there somewhere. So it's a mature product and uh, hundreds and hundreds of users in many countries. So uh, it's mostly an intraday tool, automated or semi-automated fashion. You can use it very effectively to catch trades, kind of almost like setting traps to price and price runs into us. We get filled and we travel on that train until price turns, at which point we take our profits. One trick when using the Remex system is finding the right, uh, the optimal Renko size, which will be different. Let me just erase these marks. Give me one sec here. Okay, so finding the, the optimal Renko size will be different. This is, I think I'm looking at the 6E. On the NASDAQ, for example, I know from experience that 5 one is probably be too jumpy, too small. So on, on the NQ, I would probably use H2 for the precision chart or even 12.3. One thing that we have to know about Renko bars, any kind of bars, but Renko bars especially, that volatility, the, rank, the size of the Renko bar depends on the volatility of the instrument and partly on the tick size in dollar terms because you have to manage our risk. Now, volatility changes from instrument to instrument. We know that. So the NQ is more jumpy, let's say, than the 6C in my experience anyway. Or the ZB. I mean, the ZB is like uh, the, the, the slowest thing I've ever seen sometimes. So they definitely behave very differently. But what we tend to forget, the volatility changes over time as well. So what I do in my practice every week, or as, as, as often as it's warranted, I actually, I reevaluate my settings on the Renko, because there may be a couple of days where 5.1 works beautifully on a given instrument, let's say the 6C, and then the, something happens and the 6C's volatility decreases dramatically, and 5.1 becomes just like a trampoline, too jumpy to, to be handled. If that happens, when I notice that, which is before I start trading, before the session starts, if I'm intraday, I change it to H2. That would give me, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want, uh, I'm, I'm in mark every day, so I'd better be on the safe side with an Ninja 8. I don't wanna change the bar size when a strategy is on the chart live. But the point is that I change it to a higher Renko setting. That will give me a slower, more relaxed chart where my strategy can do the best that it can. Maybe three, four, five days later, two weeks later, I switch back to 5.1. So the point is volatility, the Renko size is based on volatility. Vol volatility changes between instruments as well, obviously, and also on the same instrument over time. Okay, um, let's talk about the momentum system. The momentum is the, in many ways, is the most powerful algorithm that we ever came up with. It started with the Remax system. That's how it started out. My, my purpose with starting working on the momentum system, I don't know when it was, three years ago, was to build something that's just as good as the Remax system, but it's not, it's not tied to the Renko bars. Uh, honestly, there are people who do not use or don't want to use Renko bars, or they used to tick charts, I love tick charts. I, I'm okay on any kind of chart these days. But I remember there was a time then I, I wanted to do everything on tick charts. And uh, there's a reason for that too. That doesn't take anything away from um, the usefulness of another bar type, let's say. Okay, the point was I wanted to, to convert the code into any bar type. Now that project turned out to be a new product because more and more ideas and uh, ideas came up basically based on testing and testing results and stuff. So today, Remac Momentum is a powerhouse and it works on any bar type, including the Renko, by the way. There's no limitation. And what's also nice about the Momentum, that in my, it's just a personal thing. I cannot really, there's no technical limitations. The rent, the, the the Remax system can be used overnight, can be used on a very large Renko bar, of course. But still, in practice, I, uh, if we talk about overnight trading or trading between, let's say, one to five days, I want to stay in a position a little bit longer. 
uh, or maybe I'm trading the micro contracts on a longer time frame, or maybe I have small children and I like to go to the whatever biking or something. I can't, I'm, or maybe I'm getting a little old. I'm myself. I'm in the. I'm in my fifties. I'm not too eager to spend every minute of the day, uh, you know, watching every tick. So I want to be able to get out of the house. So a lot of people are interested in trading a little bit higher time frames, and the momentum system is is very well equipped to do just that. So much about the momentum. If you have any more questions, please ask. Anthony has another question. Let me have a quick look. Does Blackbird work differently to Raven? Uh, let me stop right here. Yes, it does. Blackbird Raven, when it, Raven is, is a very respectable, freely included ingredient that comes with Bloodhound. We all know that, and there were years and years that we used Raven. Those of us who were here know exactly. Uh, that was before Blackbird ever was made by our friends at Shark. Now we have Blackbird, and uh, we're basically, uh, I, I hope I'm not exaggerating, but we're comparing a bicycle to a spaceship. So Blackbird is a powerhouse. Nothing compares to Blackbird. Uh, that, and that doesn't take anything away from the respectable functionality that Raven has to this day. So that's, that's my answer to the first part of your question, Anthony. If you want to, so basically you're, you're asking about trading with Raven. You can trade with Raven. If I remove, I'm not going to do it now, but if I, if I remove the, if I go to strategies and remove uh, Blackbird and here, there's Raven, I can include, I can put the same uh, Remec file, the algorithm file into Raven, and it will work wonderfully. If you go to our YouTube channel, we must have about 50 videos from the old days, um, from days before Blackbird came out, and lots of lots of years and years, maybe two, three years. I don't want to exaggerate, but two, three years definitely, we were using Raven. And it's the same, the same idea. Right now we have switched to Blackbird because it offers beautiful functionality that was that was not included with Raven, obviously. Okay, uh, let me know if I answered your questions. Well, there's another question here. Give me one second. Okay, so uh, Ness is asking. Give me one second filter be applied based on time confluence uh, what do you mean by time confluence yes if you mean by using the system I'm not sure if you're if you're if you're talking about Remac momentum or the Remac system which is Renko based the Remac momentum, you can of course use it on a time chart. You can put it in any any kind of any any chart, five minute chart, one minute chart, weekly chart, doesn't matter. So in that way you can use it on any bar type. Let me know if that answers your question. If not, then please give me some details on what you mean about time confluence. Okay, in the meantime, let me move on because that was just technique number one and I have two more techniques to talk to you about quickly. So, one more sec, here we go. Next. Oh, I forgot to mention the colored button. So, restricting trading to one direction, maybe I have. Here. Oh, that's the right window. All right. So, right. These two arrows here, which are pointing to the colored buttons in Blackbird, let me just show them to you one more time. So I can restrict the direction of the next trade by disabling, let's say, short. That will prevent the system from taking shorts. Please note that if I here, if I choose short, 
but then I disable short, then Blackbird overwrites my settings, overrules my settings, and there will be no trade because shorts are disabled. So don't do that if you, if you do want to take a short trade. So make sure that the shorts are actually enabled in Blackbird. Blackbird is the main switch. Blackbird overrules other settings here. That said, you can disable the longs. And that's just one other way of making sure that no long trades will be taken. So you can feel free to use these um, buttons. And there's a third option, of course. You can go long or you can buy bid, buy ask, or just go market, go long with the market order using these colored buttons. So Blackbird allows you. These are all the possibilities. I've just listed them all to you, what is all available to you with these colored buttons. So it might take a minute or two to think all this over and to develop practice and the skills to decide quickly which one you want to use in a certain situation. To be honest, I try to keep it as simple as possible. 99% of the time I have all, both these switched on and I manipulate my drop down. But by all means, experiment with any other combinations. You can keep this on auto and disable this if you want. I usually just use the drop downs from from the drop down menu. Okay, in the meantime, Ness has asked, wrote to me, so let me. Okay, I'm reading Ness's question. Can your system automatically calculate the correct position size based on predefined? Yes, actually, that's not. It's, it's something that Blackbird does uh, for all of us. And let me open Blackbird, of course. Blackbird, um, many of you will know this already, but let me just spend a minute here on, on the Blackbird interface and check this out. So there's risk management rules. These are, please note, these are not hard-coded or predefined in the, in the Remex Momentum or the Remex system. We, we, are, we couldn't because they, they can be selected by the user, but even if they could be hard-coded, we wouldn't try to because we want to leave this up to you. So, for example, just to use the most obvious example, we do not know your account size. So I don't know if you want to take trade, you know, two contracts on the ES or 200 contracts on the ES. Uh, we, with our system, you can do both. And that is possible due to the uh, flexibility and the functionality of Blackbird. So this is, these are the risk, risk management rules. There's very elaborate, sophisticated money management rules. You can set your own settings. Scheduling, you can restrict your trading to certain times or sessions and uh, certain other options. These are all available under the help menu. And now we're talking bloodhound functionality. That works seamlessly with our product. The beauty is that our product, the Remec product, both the Remec system and Remec momentum is built in such a way that it's completely uh, works seamlessly together with, with uh, Blackbird. And of course, Bloodhound, because Bloodhound is the one that calculates the signals for us. So the algorithmic signal that comes from Bloodhound. You can think of it this way. Bloodhound decides, makes decisions before we enter the trade, and Blackbird makes all the decisions after we enter the trade. We as humans, or the trader, we always have at any point, we have the option to manually interfere and, and override whatever the machine is doing, of course. I can close the trade, I can reverse, I can get out, I can disable, I can go for a coffee, I can do whatever I want. So a uh, fixed dollar and fixed percentage would be in the risk management rules. Let me just uh, open it up again, risk management. Reward risk ratio, loss exceeds a certain dollar amount. If you allow a widening of stop in the money man management rules, you can see, let's say dollar terms, max profit, stop trading. Let's say you made a thousand dollars, you stop trading. Maximum number of trades, I allow, let's say five trades in a session. I set it to five and then no more trades will be allowed. You can still take a manual trade but this should be defined in your trading plan. Do you allow yourself to override your, your mechanic 
uh, algorithmic trading rules or not. I would say most of the time it's, uh, it's not, a, not a good idea just to keep discipline inside, but there may be situations where you would allow yourself to make a discretionary trade if you want. The system allows you. Consecutive losses, number of winning trades or losing trades, you want to stop trading after, let's say, four losers because it's not my day. Forget about it, let's go jogging and we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, same thing. Daily watermark is a very interesting and useful function. Let's say you made a thousand bucks, you keep trading, and I can enforce a rule if I give back 50% of that or an X percentage of that, I stop trading. So the thing can never happen that you're up a thousand bucks and then two hours later you're down to 20 bucks and then you're feeling bad about it. So it can happen that you're up a little bit and then you start giving back and this can enforce trading, enforce this rule that this watermark, if that's achieved, then you still keep, let's say, a certain percentage of your winnings for that day. So it's worth delving into a little bit into, not just a little bit actually, but all the way into BlackBerry's functionality because it's an amazing product and uh, I cannot even, um, scratch the surface in just a few minutes. Uh, there are very good, uh, I'm sure you know, every week Shark Indicators has excellent webinars and workshops on Blackbird and Blockout. So uh, check them out on YouTube and, and, and just join them, join Zach every week as he goes into the little nuances and sophistication of this product. All right, so let me move on to technique number two, which is, using the system's auto mode, right? I would use, okay, so that's the thing, the auto mode. When would I use the auto mode? If I think of myself as an excellent trader with all the skills and everything, why, why would I use the auto mode at all, right? Good question. Well, I do use the auto mode. I know my own products pretty well, and I've been on the markets literally, uh, maybe, you know, except when I was sick or something, but every day for 10 years. So I have I've watched the markets for many, many years. Why would I use the auto mode? Well, I do use the auto mode because sometimes the situation is such that I, I'm not trying to, in hindsight, try to look smart and show you the best signal possible because everybody can look at the past and point out the best signals. But let's say just a situation where like, Pullback trades, for example, is one of my specialties. And I just want to let the system do the pullback trade because I know that uh, when the setup will occur, when the conditions are met, I will be placing, uh, in my case, I work with limit orders, I'll be placing a limit order on the market. So I just leave it in auto mode and sit back and sip my coffee. But please note, there is such a thing as a, as a setup or a certain situation, a setup, can dissipate. It means it loses strength. It will just fade away. So, for example, the 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 there there's actually this on the market. There is such a thing today. There was a short potential on GC today. If you look at the market, it's it's off topic now. But but uh, it's just the pullback never comes, never comes, and then the bulls take over. That means that setup is gone. What what happens then? I press disable. So when the setup is not valid anymore, I, of course, I'm not going to be staying in auto mode forever. I'm going to switch up the system and switch up the system and go back to monitoring mode. And uh, by the way, let me show you, if you bear with me for one second, let me open up another chart. I want to show you something interesting, which I hope you will find interesting in just one second. So here we have a documentation for the Remex system, and we have a process diagram. The process diagram is basically our thinking process as we trade. It's worth um, spending a few minutes looking at this. It starts here with the monitoring mode. So I sit down in the morning, I'm in monitoring mode. I do nothing, but I'm ready for action. And here, as the various decision points occur. I always, know, I memorize this, I know this, you wake me up at 3 a.m., I can tell you this chart, I wrote it, it's about 
it's well months and months anyway of thinking how this could be best done and you can customize this for your needs i'm not saying this is the best one you should come up with yours but this is a good template again for a process um, for a certain trading session and as you can see i always go back to monitoring mode whether having done a trade or whether no trade i'm going to go back to monitoring mode i'm always going back to square one so that's the that's the cycle the trading cycle for me and i use that cycle for both the remex system and the remex momentum so back to the point uh, auto mode i use the auto mode let me just close these so i'm gonna get confused next time all right the auto mode i switch it on i wait for the fish to come into my net as it were and if if it does, then I'm in the trade. If the situation fades away and then no trade happened, or the trade no longer makes sense to me, then I switch it off. So that's how I use auto mode. Again, this is this is like a, it's easy, I know. There's nothing rocket science about this, but this is the combination of a human working with the computer with the automated part of my code. Because as long as I'm in auto mode, if the trade happens, it's all automated. I don't have to touch the mouse. But I do touch the mouse when I switch this off, and I will switch it off if, in my judgment, the, situ uh, the opportunity is gone, the window of opportunity has closed. And I, in my trading, anyway, I do not leave that decision for the computer. So, okay, so that was number two, technique number two, auto mode. And let's see what else we got here. Number three, placing a manual trade with automated trade management. Right, okay, so let me spend, I'm gonna drag it on too much because this is all obvious. So there may be a situation, I'm gonna trade now, but let's say, I am, okay, I'm gonna close this trade. Let's jump on the momentum and uh, I'm flat now. And I'll say, oh, that's a pretty good trade, but actually I'm going to, I'm in auto mode, but actually I wanna go short here, you see? I just wanna go short. I I want to do this. I go short, and um, one limit order is still waiting to be filled, and I'm short. I press the button manually. Yes, it's a manual uh, discretionary rule-based, but discretionary entry. But know that as soon as I'm in the trade, I leave the automation to the rest. I don't mess with it unless something happens that, I don't know, something happens that uh, so unexpected that it's not but uh, that, that hardly ever happens because the code inside this, the algorithmic code, the, the uh, capital protection algo and the profit grabbing algo, because these are basically the two things that we're dealing with, and the trailing rules are done in such a way that any, any situation is taken care of in advance. And uh, if you're wondering why my stop is so hard, so far away, uh, I usually place my stops on the other side of the cabinet if I go short. That's just something. But also there's an algorithmic code by all means, if your inclination or rules demand otherwise, as price starts to move against you, you can, with Blackbird, very effectively just pull your stop closer and get out of the trade. So just because my stop is here, it doesn't mean I'm going to sit there and wait to get... Uh, you know, trampled upon. I can move my stop closer if, 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 it's, if it's warranted, but I keep my stop far away from, from basically, basically the way I think about it is that I don't want to make my stop other people's targets. So, and Blackbird allows me to, to pre-program sophisticated uh, exit rules that would preserve my capital if things are not turning out well. Anyway, I placed a, a manual entry and then I even released the mouse. There's nothing to do. I sit back and I let the trade lay out. And that's what I usually do. And that can be on any time frame. This could be a weekly chart. I, uh, I don't trade weekly chart, but if it was, I would do the same thing. All right, so that's, that was technique number three, um, manual entry with automated trade management. And I know all these three techniques is nothing, again, nothing rocket science, but it's 
uh, I just want to spend a few minutes uh, going through this again so we're all on the same picture and at least there's one video and one presentation about this because I do get questions about this all the time. All right, there's lots of comments coming in, so let me spend one minute to do this, please. Give me a sec. RT, appreciate your question. Order flow and volume profile, I don't use them. I know many traders do. Most traders, I don't know if most traders, I've, I haven't done any, I don't have any statistics about that. I know that many do. How can this tool be useful to me without having to change my system? I don't know what system you're trading, and I don't know, if I knew how you were trading, probably I could help you answer the question. And you're saying that you mostly use levels, not any type of exotic bar chart either. Right, well, okay, uh, exotic bar chart. Um, if you look at my momentum chart, you will see that basically, in my opinion, it's the most beautiful chart I've ever seen. I can even remove the cloud because you can make this very, very simple. The, the Momentum Pro allows you to decide what you want to see on the chart and what you don't want to see on the chart. So for example, if you don't want to see the cloud, what I call the Remek cloud, this kind of bluish thing, you can easily switch it off. Now we're talking about the details of my product, but let me see. Here we go. Now there will be no cloud. Oh, it's still on. I switched off the wrong thing, sorry. But the point is that there's hardly anything on this chart and uh, no hundreds of indicators. My rule is if I don't use them in decision making, I don't want to see them on the chart. And uh, here we go. Now I hope, yes, I switched it off now, you see? So basically all I have on the chart, I have two things on the chart, a Keltner channel, because I use it, and the 310 oscillator. It's basically a, a, a version of the MACD indicator. Uh, it used to be called 310 oscillator, you can Google it. And uh, that, these are the two things that I use. And I can, maybe next time, I can go into the details how I use them, but it's, it's documented uh, many times on the website itself. So, so yeah, I work with two indicators, that's all. And Bloodhound and Blackbird, but they do the trading for me. And the Remex system is not much more complicated. There's, there's a diversion indicator. I could even remove them. Uh, divergence and uh, there's a black, uh, uh, what we call the BB MACD, which was part traditionally part of the Remex system. Otherwise, we use indicators very sparingly. Uh, let me see what your comments are or feedback on this. Give me one sec. Yes, good question. Thank you, Tariq. So, Tariq has a question about Remex momentum. Profit targets and stop losses. So let me put Remek Momentum full screen. And again, the as you know, the, the full program it has three charts. This is only the precision chart. This is where the strategy runs, and this is where we actually execute the trades. So profit targets and stop losses. Well, again, this can be customized, and it should be customized. Uh, my account size, my psychology, my preferences, my good feelings may be different from yours. So there are various, it's important that whatever, however you trade, you must feel good about your trading style. If it doesn't fit your style, your personality, let's say you're, you don't wanna sit through pullbacks because uh, you're up $1,000 and you're down $800, it doesn't fit you. You'd rather take the money and, uh, and just, uh, just be done with the trade. So that's my preference, by the way. I don't like to be looking at a chart and giving back all my money and hoping that I won't get stopped out. So the various, other people do. Other people stay in the trade through pullbacks with no problems because they're going for the bigger fish. So it's, it has to do with your personality. Other than that, this here, Blackbird, you can completely uh, customize any aspect of your stops and targets and the trading rules 
and of course the number of contracts i i'm just using as a template three contract you could be trading 80 contracts or one contract doesn't matter and you your rules can be very different from mine as you can notice in my own trading the third contract doesn't have a target i use this as a runner so i'm just gonna trail it from behind and it goes as far as it goes and I'm I'll be happy to get stopped out. That's my runner. The other two, well, you can use two, four, or let me show you how you can customize this. It's very easy to uh, change it to three, let's say three and six or three and five, just to make sure you make some money quickly. You can pull up your stop. You can make it three and six and note something which in my practice people use different methods and that's fine in my practice I always use ATRs average true range and that means that my code the BBS file uh, basically self adapting it adapts itself to the chart so if I change this to a 5,000 tick chart right now it's 500 or I can change it to a five minute chart or a 30 minute chart because Everything's defined in ATRs, my Blackbird file, and all my trade management rules will um, automatically adapt themselves to the new chart, uh, which is beautiful. It's, it's an amazing feature of Blackbird, by the way. But, no but. So, and uh, you, can, you can define your own targets, and you can go into the stop. This orange is the stop, and you can, uh, you can use any... I mean, there's a million different options here. I mean, you could spend hours and hours just talking about what you can do here. And uh, again, there's lots of good materials online. So I'm not going to go into the little details of it, but you can, the point is you can define your stop and then you can define your trailing actions for each contract if you want separately and make them as sophisticated or as simple as you want them to be. And they will be, since it's done by the computer, it will be completely consistent. And why does consistency uh, matter? Because you're gonna be putting, ideally, uh, you should be putting your data into an Excel chart or something and analyze your data over hundreds of trades before you put the first real dollar onto the market. You should know your edge and the exact um, you know, uh, result of your trading methodology as shown by hundreds and hundreds of trades. So you would be putting it into uh, an Excel chart, let's say, and analyze them. And if your execution is not consistent, I mean, if every trade is different from the, from the, from the one before, then how can you analyze anything? And then it will not tell you too much about what results you might expect. Doing this with Blackbird and Bloodhound, and if I'm humble enough with the Remec products, you'll be able to put all this data into an Excel file and be sure that it's consistent, it's the result, whatever they are, is meaningful. Okay, so I went on about this a little bit, but for, forgive me for that, let me look at some other uh, questions. Yes, of course, as always. Hi, uh, Shiga Kumar, if I pronounce your name correctly, I'm sorry if I don't. Yes, of course, this is being recorded as always, and it's going to be on YouTube, I believe. Okay, right. Thank you, Keith. Okay, so, right. So we dealt with the three different uh, ways to combine a human trader with a very sophisticated algorithmic code. In my experience, again, I don't claim to be all-knowing, and I understand that there are other very successful trading styles different from this. Uh, that said, this is what has proven to be working well for me over years and not three weeks not even three years it's like nine ten years and uh, I'm happy to pass this uh, information on to you and uh, just to leave the rest up to you you have to do your own due diligence of course there's no escaping that so don't believe anything you're hearing from me double check double check uh, everything and do your own testing forward testing and uh, before you even risk one cent on the market. Okay, let's move on with the presentation. We have a, just a few slides and we're almost done. And Okay, so right, wanna see it in practice. I just had to include this. I had to include this because this is our new service and I'm so proud of it. So pardon me, I'm gonna be very brief with this. We have a service called Remac Premium. 
which by the way will have um, is part of our special so you can get a, a discount on that today okay Re what is remec premium remec premium is a service it's not a product it's a service inside this service we use remec momentum we could be using uh, the renko based remec system but i mean i had to make a choice and remec premium is built in such a way i'm just saying this quietly and in brackets that you don't even have to have ninja trade you could be trading on your bank's website or direct trading or whatever software that your local bank gives you it doesn't matter what chart you're looking at a trade is a trade is a trade this service is done in such a way that you can be on anything uh, of course we do it on ninja trader and we do it with um, the products that we love but uh, so the point is that if you want to see it in practice you're welcome to, to try it out for 15 days free we have various packages and then you'll see how we use uh, our methodology on the markets every day basically some of our trades it's about maybe 60 to 40 percent sometimes 70 to 30 percent 70 30 percent being strictly intraday trades and 70 percent of the trades uh, with the potential of holding overnight now that sometimes means that we take profits at four o'clock and we'll be done with it and uh, but uh, so it's a mixture of both time frames you know with uh, as you will know with electronic markets and with the with the spread of technology worldwide the distinction um, the way i see it between the strictly regular trading hours in the u.s and the electronic hours overnight uh, the significance of that is kind of dissipating as we move especially in the 2020s i think as we move forward um, these markets are being traded from 150 different countries and all the time zones of the planet so the difference between electronic and regular time uh, or trading hours i think are losing a little bit of the relevance i'm not saying they're gone but so having said that the distinction between strictly intraday and strictly overnight in i don't i don't uh, draw that line in a very strict terms uh, whatever we have on the market if it goes it goes i'm leaving it overnight with a trading stop i'm not in a hurry to take it off the market just because it's 4 a.m or 4 p.m having said that check it out it's a service you can look at it for 15 days no obligation and i hope you like it all right one more thing that we just started about a month ago for all playing customers we i kind of used to do this on a on an informal basis and and trying to be generous about it but now it's formal and we're committed to this so all paying customers can book half an hour with me free of charge and i'm happy to help you guys uh, you know uh, to get you going or to answer questions or to help with your trading project or venture or business whatever stage of this lifelong journey because that's what it is for all of us uh, it's a lifelong we are lifelong students of the market basically so wherever you are or you might be on that journey um, i want to make sure that if you think there's anything i can help with just book a time no charge 30 minutes you can ask me anything we can do sh a share screen and uh, and uh, we can hopefully solve all the issues. Technical, definitely related to my product because I know those inside out. And any other questions trading related, I'll be happy to share with you of my opinion. And then you, uh, if it's for you, it's for you to use it or lose it. And uh, last page, a couple of final thoughts before we turn to our uh, holiday specials. Uh, if I would like you to remember anything from today, it would be success is a robust methodology and the skillful trader. We, we need both. One doesn't replace the other. And that's all I wanted to tell you with all this rambling today. And here, this uh, presentation will be uh, online, the file itself in our blog. And so you'll be able to click on these and I'm happy to share these resources with you. And, and if you're so inclined, please check them out and use them. There's all kinds of calculators. Uh, you can calculate your edge. You can do the math stuff here that I hope you'll find useful. All right, so before we move on to the holiday specials, let me ask you again if you have any questions at this point. 
or if you have found this uh, somewhat useful at least. We've been going on for about, let's say, more than an hour, so I do appreciate your time. Let me see if there's any questions. Oh, hold on one second. Thank you for reminding me. You know, this thing is not scrolling automatically, so there are questions here I've never seen yet. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, where do I start? Right. Oh, there's about three, four questions. Okay. Yeah, very quickly. Thanks for that. Can your system automatically calculate the correct position size? Yes, Blackbird can do that as a percentage of your account size or a fixed dollar amount. Uh, yes, if you go to order settings. So I think we went, we went through this. This is, this is what Blackbird can do for you. I think it calculates uh, the risk Reward risk ratio, two to one. So if, if there are, for, for example, if there's a trade that looks good, but I mean, the, let's say resistance is too potential, of course, resistance is too close, so it's not worth doing it, then with this setting, you could eliminate those trades. And uh, money management, I'm just showing you this, I'm gonna go through this again. Uh, probably there might be some aspects that you might have to calculate manually but most of most of the useful functionality uh, bloodhound is taken care of let me just try to get out of this box here okay let me see the next question if remake momentum is purchased Oh, yes, uh, so is if, oh, Doug, hi, Doug. Uh, so if my Bloodhound and Blackbird program will be set up to use the Remac Blank Box program? Yes, so this is the way it works. You, if you buy any of our products, and by the way, we'll have bundles, and I'm gonna get to those in just one second. So, but if you just buy this product, then uh, there's an installation procedure. It's very simple, you double click on a file, every file will be copied to the a proper directory under Ninja. You'll have to just import the, in the usual way, it just takes five seconds, uh, two or three indicators and the license file. And once you're done, what you do is just open, look at this, open the, the appropriate Remac file. And when you open, uh, let's say Remac Basic, you open this file, all the settings will be populated uh, with the default settings that the product comes with right here. You see, you just saw it with the default settings that the pro program came with, the product came with. Uh, as always, I strongly suggest and I request that you review these settings, of course, and you customize them to your needs. But it's a very good starting point with three contracts and one runner, just to have a quick view, view of what you know you could do with Blackbird. Uh, you can make it even more sophisticated. Um, the sky's the limit. Okay, next question. So I see, hi Paul, I see on your website you run this in NT8. Yes, that's correct. Can you optimize the strategy through NT8? Okay, optimization is a topic in itself that deserves its own dedicated hour at least. Optimization is, uh, is a two-edged sword. Uh, some optimization of course is required and if I may say so, we have we, we did most of we've done most of that optimization already in the product during the years and years as we develop this product. Uh, optima, further optimization is possible, of course, in the form of customizing the Blackbird file, and that's where you're going to do most of the optimization. I would I would think that's what I would do, and of course, uh, customize your trade management rules to your to your needs and your risk management and money management rules. What you do here must confirm, must work together in harmony with your trading style, uh, the markets you trade, the, the financial uh, restrictions. You know, even if we trade with 10 million dollars, well, everybody has a restriction. So there's something, there's a finite amount of 
uh, money on the account at any one point. You have to make sure that the strategy that you're trading is is uh, is uh, within the boundaries of your risk control. So basically, you don't want to blow your account to put it in English. So in that way, it can be customized, it can be optimized. And uh, in my own experience, um, I respect every other approach, of course, but I tend to do very little back testing, if anything. Uh, what I do is forward testing, and I do two types of forward testing. Forward testing I do in market replay, where I download a, let's say a month or a couple of weeks and I let it run, there's examples for that as we've mentioned, and see what uh, the, how the program performs. And please note, this have to be, has to be out of sample uh, testing, which means that, and that's the case in my case, because basically when I wrote the program, that market replay data didn't exist yet. So I'm running, in back testing or forward testing, I'm running the program in something, in some data that the program hasn't seen yet. So I can do that in market replay, of course. And but the best, the absolute best way to do it is to forward test it. Whatever your time frame, you trade on the live market with simulation, of course, and and take the trade as they come to you. Then that's the absolute guarantee that it's out of sample data. The program has never seen that before because nobody's seen that before it came new. So you, 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 you take, and don't stop with 30 trades. 30 trades is, uh, do 100 trades at least. Have enough sample in your database. Do it for a month. You got a couple of hundred trades. You'll have a very good idea of what this system is capable of. And also, remember, that's just the car. That's why even if it's a Ferrari, it's just the car. You need the driver. You're the driver. So it will give you a very good idea of what the combination of the system and yourself can do. So I hope that answered that question. And can you use this system in Forex? Yes, thank you, Paul, for that question. Yes, you can, and probably you should or you could. I'm not saying you should, but for many people, um, Forex is a good choice because it's much more scalable on relatively smaller accounts than the U.S. Uh, futures contracts, for example, as we know, instead of risking thousands and thousands of dollars to stay above the noise, in Forex we can do that with less risk uh, in dollar terms and still, uh, and still forward test the system to make sure that it is something that we want to trade with. So thank you for that question. Okay, let me scroll down to see if there's any other thing. I appreciate this, there's many questions. I appreciate there's a lot of interest here. And uh, which is always nice to see. Are the systems updated and improved? Tom, perfect question. Uh, yes, they are constantly. We are on 2.1 and after the holidays, it's a little busy right now. And uh, I just wanna finish this, uh, this holiday special period and then spend a little time you know, uh, uh, during the holiday per period with other projects. But one thing I'm working on is the next release. And the next release, is almost ready, 99% ready. It's packed. I haven't put it out yet because I'm, I'm, I'm not in a rush. So I'm using it now in my own, in the other machine, on my own computer. It will be called 2.5, and it's going to be called 2.5 for both the Remex system and Remex Momentum. It's after 2.1, we jumped to 2.5, not, not because of any special reason, but the other interim versions will not be released because now we have something better and our internal numbering scheme demands that we call this 2.5. It also, uh, I think it's, it, it, uh, it, it's aimed to, um, to indicate that, you know, usually between two and three, 2.5 is something not the most major release, but major enough not to call it 2.2. So this is an interim halfway between what might become maybe a year down the road and uh, what, where we are at now. So 2.5 is coming out in January. Uh, I must say, but I, it goes without saying that every purchaser will, uh, every purchase includes a one year maintenance contract. So rest assured that when 2.5 comes out, uh, anybody who bought within one year will get it free. So if you buy now, or if you bought in the past one year, but well, starting whenever the date of the release will be, so probably it's a January date, 
So if you're within one year, the update is free. But if you should be, you know, just outside one year, don't worry. The up the upgrade price is usually very reasonable, a couple hundred bucks, uh, and uh, it, it's well worth it, I think. But we need to we need to make sure that development costs. It's just the usual development uh, software development cycle. So one year maintenance release maintenance period free of charge, and all the other customers beyond one year need to pay a, a minor little fee to get the latest release. Okay, thank you very much. Um, did I miss any of the questions? I Looks like um, I'm good to go. So let me jump on the last page. So here we go. Uh, it's my pleasure to share this with you. First of all, I'd like to appreciate again uh, your spending time with us here, this one, one and a half hours. I hope it was time well spent. And uh, so these are the offers now. And let me say this right now. We haven't done, we've never done this before. The best we've done is a 2520. If you look here in the middle, we, we had a 2520 several times. We never had a 2525. And I'll tell you what that means in just one sec. So first of all, uh, there are various options here. You can just buy the Remex system 25 off. Here's in the red code, Remex Sharp 25 off is what you will type in into the promo code field. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so you can get the Remex system, all editions. You get a license to three editions. It's uh, Christmas or whichever holiday you're celebrating. Uh, it's a holiday offer. Momentum, same thing. You get all the three editions. There's a standard, uh, Pro and also a Pro STR and also three editions of the Remax system starting with the basic, the advanced and the Pro. All right, we have bundles. We always had bundles and now we have a couple of new bundles for, I've received lots of uh, requests. So everything that's in this red square is new. So if you've been to our store over the years, I wanted to highlight this is what's new. So you can go, right? And the little icons, I'm not much of an artist, but I wanted to indicate that these products, the little icons are included in the bundle. And uh, so these are the bundles, Remex System, Momentum, and Blackbird, Remex System, Momentum, Blackbird, and Bloodhound. And there's a top of the line thing, everything plus the Remex Premium service for one year. So going back to the specials, the code is valid for all the discounts. And uh, let me just show you what the 2525 means. So for each bundle, oh, sorry. Okay, go to the store, right. So each bundle, and we've had that always, the bundles already include baked in a 25% discount. That's just how bundles work. So with each, you'll see a Bundle price 25% off. I'm not gonna put my, if I put the mouse over it, you can't read it, but it's written right here, 25% off, because it's a bundle. On top of that, we put another 25% off if you type in this code, which if you wanna buy, of course you will. So that's the code, and that's already a substantial offer. It's valid till Sunday, Sunday night, uh, Eastern time, December 15th. And there is a Remec Premium 25% off too with the same code. Please note that the Remec Premium technically works on a different page. It's not in the shop, but don't worry. Nonetheless, it's very easy to find. You just go to the main menu, click on Premium, and you'll see there are three packages. I'm gonna go into details, there are three. Uh, there's a Remec Plus, which is a delayed service, premium, 149 a month, and it, Believe me, it pays for itself if you do it well. And there's an annual fee, an annual price, which is 50% of whatever you would pay uh, monthly. So that's already a substantial discount if you buy an annual package. And with this code, now there's a 25% off from that. Let me just say that uh, here's our contact information. If you need to talk to me, please feel free to call anytime or best to send an email or contact me on Skype. 
There's a little link here for later, if tomorrow or day after, later in the week, you want to refer to this presentation, the file itself with the code, then you just click here. Also, I'd like to mention that in our blog, if you click here, I have a post here. This, if you click here, this is exactly today's file. It's just a presentation file. The advantage of that file, as opposed to the video, which will be coming later, that all the links in the file obviously work. So you just have to click on the link and the code and you can click on shop now and all this stuff. All right, so I'll stop right here and uh, let me ask you if there's any other questions before. Oh, I think there is. Hi, Randy. Let me read your question quickly. If Remek Momentum Pro can do the money management once you enter the trade, you do the money management uh, the way I look at it before you enter the trade. Um, the money management after you enter the trade, well, let's suppose I'm in a trade now. I can, if it doesn't look good, I can get out. I can take one contract off. I can do stuff manually. But what I cannot do is I cannot modify the algorithm in Bloodhound or in Remek Momentum on the fly. The Remek Momentum you cannot because that's a black box, but this, the Blackbird part is open to you, but let's say I modify this to 10 ATRs, it would only come into effect from the next trade. So you cannot modify the code on the fly while you're in the trade. I'm not exactly sure, unless I'm not understanding your question exactly, I'm not exactly sure why you would want to modify. I think normally or you would do this is something you would think over before you enter the trade and before you customize your code but if i miss something then please uh, write to me and let me know okay randy has another question what is the difference we had a black friday sale yes momentum pro Uh, Momentum Pro is a product. Momentum Pro has no monthly price. The only thing that can have and did have a monthly price is Remek Premium. Sorry if these names are somewhat misleading. I really apologize, but we have to call these things something. So Remek Premium is a service. Uh, basically, uh, to put it really simply, the, the my trades. I'm sharing my trades with you in real time and I'm not gonna go into the details, but it's in real time, so I notify you by email of what I do. And uh, you can adapt it, and you should adapt it to your own trading style. Uh, having said that, most of the people who use this service um, give me positive feedback. Uh, I have actually, let me show you something, uh, with a certain degree of proudness, or pride, rather, uh, there are people who use our premium service and uh, all these testimonials are real. So these are from actual emails and they're verifiable. I can show them to you without the names, of course. Uh, these are real emails and uh, I get very positive reviews from uh, of the Remit Premium service. So back to the point, Remit Premium is a service. Remit Momentum Pro is a product and the product it's just a one-time price. It has no monthly fee. So please let me know if I misunderstood something. Okay. Also, Randy, if uh, you're welcome to book uh, half an hour with me, uh, just book a time and I'll be happy to uh, spend some time with you and, and just to clarify anything that may not be clear. Also, as a last point, uh, I'd like to, if your time allows, of course, uh, you can go to our website, click on these products, and maybe a little hidden, but there's a documentation link here, which will take you to 10 pages of intense information with all the details of our products. And it takes about half an hour and a good coffee to read through it, but I think it's well worth your time. Even if you don't buy the product, there's a lot of information here about trading in general that I think you might find useful. Same thing with the momentum. If you're on the momentum page, down here there's documentation and uh, document in similar structure 
10 pages, including video tutorials. Uh, and I'm, I keep adding to these as issues come up. I try to add more and more videos. We have about whatever, eight, nine right now and more on YouTube. This is on Vimeo and another platform. We have a couple more on YouTube as well. So check those out. Once we're I'm on products and services, here's the premium page and premium also has a documentation. So once I mentioned the other two, let me mention this too. This is the premium. This is the service. This is the signal service that the, the details of which uh, and what exactly is included in the services described here. Okay, so much about that. Back to our specials and see if there's any other questions. Okay, thank you, Randy. Yeah, you're most welcome. Just, and anybody else, please. Uh, we're entering the holiday season. Even if you're pre-purchased, technically you haven't purchased yet. If you're so inclined and if, if something needs to be cleared up, just book a time or send me an email. I don't mind spending 20 minutes with you to answer any questions. All right, so it's been a great pleasure. I hope you found this somewhat useful. And let me hand it over to Keith and uh, take it home, Keith. All right, Ference, as always, great presentation. I think it's funny, every, you're, you're a natural educator because every opportunity you have, uh, you're not just selling stuff, but you always point out, hey, there's, there's some great information for, for trading in general, you know, go, go learn, you know, so it really, uh, that's that's why people really appreciate um, you as a presenter is is your you know you're out for the trader you're here to help people out really cool well I put thank the you. Uh, the thank link you very much. Uh, that you gave me earlier I, I believe that is the link that you want people to go to if they're interested in learning more about your offers so you've shown it uh, you follow that link and there's a big red button that says shop now if you want access to the the various different bundles so check that out. Um, I know several of you are brand new to not just Remick, but uh, also Bloodhound and Blackbird. So if you are curious about learning more about those specific products, you can reach out to us. Our website is sharkindicators.com. We're just that component of Remick's uh, broader system and plan and behavior. So um, check us both out. And obviously we're all here if you have any further questions. So um, appreciate you guys uh, with all your questions. Um, always very active whenever Ference comes on. So, uh, Ference, if there's if there's nothing else from you, uh, we'll shut this down. And uh, you know, hopefully, you guys can take advantage of of these offers, whether you do or not. Um, appreciate you being here on the the final webinar of uh, of the year. And 2020 is going to be a very interesting year in the markets, <laughs> no matter what happens, because there's there's a lot of stuff coming up. So, uh, right, thank you, Keith. Ben? Thank you very much. First of all, let me thank you for the kind words. It's, uh, yes, I, I'm glad if I come through as somebody who's passionate about, passionate about this. And, uh, and I am an educator as well, at least part of the year. So, um, so thank you very much for everyone. If you have any questions, please write to me. I know it may have been a little dense today, especially if you're new. But um, basically what's been driving us at Remec here is that we don't want people to get bogged down in the, in the technology part of it and spend years and years and years of fiddling with, you know, uh, fiddling with uh, computers and not getting anywhere. This is partly about, this is a profession. Money has, of course, plays a big part in this. And it is my greatest pleasure when I see people moving from the experimentation to, uh, towards a real business. And this is a business. And, uh, I am, um, of course, you know that, and, and, and this shouldn't be treated as a business. And all we do is basically to help customers to start running profitable businesses. That's what this whole thing comes about. Uh, uh, that's what it's all about. And with Shark's products, I cannot emphasize enough how great those products are. And it's not for me to, many people have said that before, and you can see that for yourself too. What we're trying to do is basically to come up with products which are almost as good as theirs. So if, uh, if we manage to achieve anything like that, then I'm already happy. I hope you'll agree that these products are great. This combination of these three products is fantastic. And please feel free to check them out. There's a last thing key before we go. There's a 15, don't feel obliged to, bra to buy or jump onto the shop right away. There's a 15 day tryout. Uh, we have three, four days till Sunday, let's say, three full days. 
Unfortunately, I cannot ex extend the, the trial itself is 15 days. I cannot extend the offer. The offer will expire on Sunday. But having said that, you have three full days to download the software free of charge, play around with it before you spend anything, and you can decide five minutes before midnight on Sunday if this is something you want to have. And even if you don't, but I can't promise there will be anything like this offer-wise in the coming months, let's say until Canada Day, July 1st next year, or July 4th next year. Those are the days in the year where you can kind of expect this. So uh, you will not have this for many months, but you still have three days to play around with the system, ask many questions, or book a time with me before this offer expires. Thank you very much, and I'm really done by now, or with this, and back to you, Keith. All right. Great. Ferenc, thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday or a Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.